Second part of the question says it gets two centimeters into the field, into the B field. What is the kinetic energy? That's a strange question, it seems. We haven't even thought about kinetic energy. We don't know what, what's going on. Well, kinetic energy for a microscopic particle like an electron is the same as it is for a baseball. It's one half mv squared. So we know the mass. All we really need is the velocity. We still don't have the velocity. We did the whole last problem without knowing the velocity. But here they actually did tell us something useful. Two centimeters. If it gets two centimeters into the field, that means they've told us the radius. If that's two centimeters, then the radius of the circle is two centimeters. So now we can go to our formula, R equals uh, mv over qb, and we can solve it for the velocity, and we know everything else now. Okay. So what would it be? It would be uh, v is R qb over m, R qb, the field magnitude, over m. So R, uh, I'll just write 0.02, I'm going to do this all MKS units, 0.02 meters. Q, the charge, charge of an electron, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. I'm doing it all MKS units. Uh, B, 10 to the minus 3 teslas. It was a millitesla, right? Was it a milli? Yeah, one millitesla. And then over M is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31, because that's in kilograms. Yes, an electron does not weigh much. If you do that, you get that the velocity is 3.5 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. That's really fast. Okay, so one good check in physics, whenever you calculate the velocity of anything, is make sure it's less than the speed of light. Okay, it'll always, we would never give you a problem where it comes out greater than the speed of light. So in this case, it's very fast, but it is less than the speed of light, which of course is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So now, you plug this into Ke, just your standard formula for 1 half mv squared, where m, again, is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. V is 3.5 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And you get 56 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. An extremely small amount of kinetic energy, but keep in mind, it's just an electron. It doesn't weigh much. So even though it's going fast, this extremely small mass keeps the kinetic energy really low.